what's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video I'm going to be helping you guys out with the new Forza Thon event in Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, now as you can see here there are two different events in which you can win two different prizes. So the first one called Speed is Key win, will win you the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Forza Edition and the next one called To the Finish Line uh, will give you the 1957 Porsche 356A Speedster. So let's get stuck in with the first Porsche challenge because I know that you guys have sort of been struggling with the uh, drift score one I've seen it on a lot of forum pages so the first challenge here just wants you to get a drift score of 15,000 drift points in a Porsche now it's not that hard don't worry you don't have to get it done in one single drift it's over the course of a lap now you can really pick whichever track you want um, but I just went for the Nürburgring because it's got enough bends uh, and it's a fairly short track. Now I picked obviously the GP circuit because it's the shortest and the quickest one. Now instead of leaving it as a circuit race, you want to change it to a drift race uh, and then set yourself a time limit. You know, it's entirely down to yourself on how confident you feel with your drift skills. Now obviously you're going to want to select your car, so it has to be a Porsche. Now I just went with the 2018 911 GT2 RS, obviously the cover car because it's rear wheel drive and it's not not too bad for drifting uh, and then all you want to do is get 15,000 drift points in a single lap so it's honestly not that hard uh, the problem with this Porsche, it can be a bit powerful, so you do have to be quite gentle with the throttle when going around the corner. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, if your drifts aren't that great, it won't work on the straights. But obviously, you get 15,000 points in a lap, cross the finish line, and then you'll obviously start a new lap, but you'll still have probably time remaining. So what you're going to want to do is just sit out that time, and then obviously, when the race is done, come out of it, and you'll have complete the first challenge uh, the second challenge there wants you to complete three races in a Porsche so this is another fairly easy one these ones are all obviously Porsche orientated uh, so as per usual hop into free play um, just like the previous challenge and then you're going to set up now the quickest way that I found to do it was if you go all the way over to the left um, to the Homestead Miami circuit uh, set it to three laps so or two whichever you prefer um, for these ones I went with two and I only set a couple of driver tiles about six um, and then obviously you're going to stay you know pick your Porsche if you want to whichever one you want so I obviously went with my 918 so I prefer it but you can stick with the other Porsche it's entirely down to yourself which Porsche you want to pick now obviously you do need to win all three of these races so I just went and obviously checked that that one worked which it did I then went back into free play and did the exact same thing all over again back into race setup pick the Miami Homestead one just two laps six driver tires simple as that same Porsche did that obviously three three times repeated it went back over to the Forzathon tab and there you go that's all three completed and the final challenge obviously wants you to win a race on the Nürburg Grand Prix in a Porsche so yet again obviously it's a Porsche challenge um, and as you remember the first track we did the drifting on is the GP track now you don't want to do what I just did there for some reason went over to the multiplayer tab for some reason the menus in Forza Motorsport 7 are a bit iffy but anyway we'll, we'll look over that for now um, so obviously you're going to race set up uh, scroll all the way to the left or right depending on what track you've got picked uh, to the Nürburgring and then to the far right one which is a GP circuit um, now obviously I only said it I think it was about two or three laps uh, there you are two laps I reduced the driver tires just because um, I made it daytime so it's not as slippery and obviously left it in hypercar because I stuck with this Porsche 918 um, and then obviously try and come across the finish line first to complete this one here um, it's really not that hard at all uh, but this will obviously win you the Porsche, I think it's a 356 Speedster or something like that, um, which is quite a cool car to be honest. So obviously you'll collect your awards uh, and then when you quit, so you don't want to continue because then it'll put you into another race, um, but you will quit and then you will obviously get the achievement. Um, and for some reason the, the prizes are delayed in this, so you'll go back to your Forzathon tab and it won't say that you complete the final challenge even though you obviously have as you can see here, but do another race and you will get the prize. Uh, so we'll start with the next challenges which the first one speed is key wants you to go at least 180 mile an hour on the homestead miami track so i went across to race setup and as of course you know we've just done it a few times went to the homestead miami now you can pick any of these tracks but the easiest and the simplest one is the speedway circuit as you can see here 
um, and you can pick whichever car you want. Now I did set it to three laps because when I tried it on two, it didn't seem to work. Um, I also chose the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport because in the Porsche it didn't seem to work either. I don't know if it's just a little glitch, but anyway, the Bugatti's quicker, so it works out all right. Uh, and then you want to hit a speed of at least 180. So obviously after your first bend here, you can hit it pretty damn easily, about 200 mile an hour. Um, just make sure not to bin it on the corner. Watch out for that one. Um, and then obviously you want to cross the finish line, so it doesn't really matter where you cross it as long as you just complete that race so don't quit as soon as you hit 180 complete the race through and through um then obviously you'll quit after that go back to your Forza on tab and there you will see for some reason the previous prize like i said um it will come back after one race it's so fucking weird um and there's the first challenge complete now the next one wants you to complete six laps at daytona so yet again another very very easy one slightly more time consuming compared to the others but it is fairly easy so going back to the free play tab obviously you'll go over to your race setup and you will pick the daytona track now you can pick whichever ones you want but yet again I went for the tri oval circuit because it's just a nice big circle one. Set it for six laps um, and I did do the Bugatti again because like I said it's a quicker car so you'll be completing this race in about three minutes something like that um now for some reason it didn't yet again work in the porsche i don't know if it's because it wasn't a porsche challenge but whatever uh there you are complete that quit get your rewards and there you go uh the next challenge wants you to complete three races in a forza p1 car now yet again like the three races we did before in the porsche uh, i went to the miami circuit again the homestead one picked the um, oval circuit now I know it shows two laps here but it's actually three um, I tried it with two and it didn't work so select three and your falls a p1 car class and then you won't get the wrong car at all now I start with a 2015 Nissan number 23 GTR LM Nismo uh, it might not look as fast on paper in comparison to the Audi or the Porsches but it is, it's a phenomenally quick car and you wouldn't believe it. Um, it's absolutely rapid. It's brilliant. So all you have to do, like I did before the Porsche one, is rinse and repeat the same race three times. Obviously, come first is the easiest bet. Uh, and then you will have completed that Forza Thon challenge there. It's not that hard, just rinse and repeat. And your final one here just wants you to win a race in a hypercar division car, which of course yet again will lead us back to the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport because it didn't work in the Porsche for some reason, so turn 10, sort your shit out because it is incredibly annoying. I don't know why it won't work in the Porsche or for some occasions just two laps. Um, so obviously you pick whatever race you want. Yet again, I've gone back to the Homestead Miami. Um, I did three laps again. Again, uh, obviously set it to hypercar here, and I picked my Bugatti Veyron Super Sport again, purely because it is quicker than the Porsche in a straight line, in all fairness, um, and it will get you done, the race done pretty quickly. Now, like I said, there is some weird glitches. I know a lot of people have been having, for example, with the first Porsche challenge and stuff. But if you do it exactly how I have explained it and how I've done it, you will get these achievements. Because obviously that's how I've got them and the prizes. Um, and then obviously in this one, you come in first position uh, and you will eventually get the achievement. And then the quickest way to actually get the car is to do another single lap race after this. Come out of that race and you'll be gifted the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Forza Edition. It's incredibly bizarre that it the prizes don't pop up straight away and it is incredibly annoying uh, but i can only assume that turn 10 will obviously jump straight onto that as soon as possible hopefully please turn 10 you know be good to us um but yeah anyway um i hope this helped you out guys obviously it wasn't hard for us fun there was a lot less challenges than previously um but yeah if you do have any quest questions please drop them in the comments and i'll try and clarify them as best as i can but thank you for all your support and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this and also drop a like if it did help you out but thank you very much guys